there you have an option. You can do a hind yield one or two just while he's standing right there okay. to get that sharper so that and make sure that your the image that you have in, in your expression is exactly how it's going to be when you ask him when he's moving. But so if you were like he's standing in front of you and you're going to tell him to yield his hind end, you know, really make sure that he understands that this is what that meant. So that way when he's over here and you do that, he's going to go, oh, my bad. Because you'll sharpen it at a standstill and then you'll have it fixed on the circle. Okay. So anytime something's broken, break it down to the lesser speed. Okay. Good. Now reward him just so he knows that that's all you were looking for. Because that could be perceived as just being mean, you know, like a bully. Good. Got a bomber just float, showed up just so you know. Yeah, we'll just work on this one side for, for yeah, yeah, because we want them to understand specifically. So I would say it needs to be even sharper. Yeah. Okay, I would say that it could get a little sharper, but see what you got on this next circle. Like, see what you got at this next cone. Good. So kind of what happened there was he wasn't fully stopped and then you were, um, so then he was able to kind of be like, I think that's part of what happens when he gets himself kind of spun out a little bit mentally mm -hmm. is that he thinks he understands what you said and then you accept it for less than it is, than it should be. And then it leaves him kind of hanging mentally. Okay. So then I think he's, he's, he's like, okay, and I, I think she said, oh, she didn't say that, I guess, you know. So that's why when you ask, you know, and then now the next thing. So it's clear, you know, there's a period at the end of everything you say. Okay. So this way there's no run-on sentences going on. Okay. Because he's struggling a little bit, I think, because of that. Yeah. Right. So what's happening is that the front feet aren't being stopped first. Okay. So I would make sure that my communication to his nose gets to his front feet before I even initiate the hindquarter so yield. Like a, 
it's more like like as he's coming around the corner it's more like a stab towards your belly button to just get his nose to tip in and then once you've got his nose to tip in then you can give a another like up and down wiggle to say stop your front feet Okay. And then say, now I'd like you to do something with your hind feet. I know it's like it's kind of like a, f a fast succession of that, right. but it's kind of got to be in the give me your nose, stop your front, let me show you, you know, okay. move your hind. Good. Yeah, that was a little sharper. And you want to make sure that your trot is a clear cue as opposed to like making him afraid. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you should be able to just kiss twice and have him go as opposed to, Ugh! I don't you know, so we want to make sure that he's understanding because he knows that he knows it. Um, you guys meshing good. Let me, let me just explain to him the stop. Right. Okay. And worse. Back. So what I would do, uh -uh, I didn't say go. Is I might say, You need to be paying attention to me, huh? I just wanted him to soak on it for a minute before I told him he was good for it. Good. Walk, walk, walk. Back. Back. Ah, 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 listen to me. Woohoo! So I'm just going to let him have that for a second. 
He got, he's got a lot of pent up stuff going on. Okay. Okay. Trot. Trot. Good. Trot. Trot. Hey. Nobody said any of that. Nobody said any of that. No. 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 Now. out of it. Nope. Nope. Take your emotions out of it. Take. Listen. Listen. Good. Good. in you even though you're so emotional sometimes to you. I will come to you. Is this too advanced for you? Listen, we're going to try it slow, okay? Walk. Walk. Good. Good. You're good. 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 We did it on a small circle, but I just wanted to understand the Go in that direction. You're I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. Try to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, ready? Good. Now walk, walk, walk. Good. Walk. Good.
Stay out there. Good. Okay, ready? Walk. Yep. Yep. That's okay. Good. Good. Back. Back. So we're going to have to add the back up here. Your temper tantrums are unnecessary. Stay there, and I'll come to you, okay? You got this. You got this. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about you walk? No, ah, 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 ah. Go that way and walk. Just walk, okay? And now stop, back, 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 back. Wait, wait. Uh-uh, no, just wait. Uh-uh, just walk, good. Back, back. Okay. Back, back, back. Good. Ah, uh -uh. listen. We have time. Hey. Listen, there you go. Back, back, good. Now, take it down a notch. Listen, gently, good. Now, stay out there, back, back, back. Gently. Back, back. Gently. That's not what I said. That's what I said. Gently. Good. Stay there. Back. Back. Good. Listen how loud I am. Gently. Good. Now, back. Gently. Back. You get it. Did change the pattern to walk, stop it, and back up at each cone because he was having too much trouble with the trot. Stay out there, back. So now he's starting to think back as part of it, which is good, because that'll keep him from coming in on you. Yield. I'm still talking to you. Back. So I got to sharpen that turn out there again. So he's a horse, you're going to really need to do a lot of pre-riding stuff. Nice. Good boy. Hold on. 
This, this is about him for right now. Good job. Good job. That was nice. Because he did that with complete understanding of what was being asked of him. And his mind was with me. You're going to have to do a lot of like pre-riding puzzles. So that, because you don't want the horse that we and out with under you. Uh, and what happens is he gets himself so, a lot of times it's holes in their education. And they get so emotional to where they, they almost like are willing to like lay down and die about it. So he goes into flight mode big time. And all I was trying to do is explain to him it wasn't necessary. You're welcome. Um, and it took him a real long time to get in this frame of mind. Like, I would leave him with this. I wouldn't do it anymore. Um, he's definitely going to want to be hosed off. <laughs> You did good. Yeah, he, uh... In fact, we'll just let you have a total break if you need it. He, he definitely finds himself, um... La, 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 you know? It's a good way to describe it. Yeah, yeah, like, he can't hear you. He, he slammed his bedroom door and blasted the radio, you know? And there's just no talking to him. Um, until you break down the door, you know, basically. And I don't like to ever have to get that loud with them. But in his case, it's like if you can't get louder than his emotional explosion, you can't get into his brain. Um, but the trick is, is then to take it down as quiet as you possibly can. He's so light that, like, a kiss would be too much. You know what I mean? So, like, he's already now where you can just go, and he's like, oh, okay. Um, he, uh, yeah, I would, I would say, I mean, we'll get him to where none of this is an issue anymore, but I would say as far as riding him, if you were to say, okay, you know what, I'm tired of waiting, I'm going to start riding him, get him in this frame of mind before you do. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a rideable horse now. Right. But five minutes ago, it wasn't. Yeah. Roll. I am too sweaty for this. And truthfully, it, it really is. I mean, like some of the young, young horses or the horses that didn't get training until and have kind of established, you know, complacency of their own life and they don't really have any guidelines. Emotional like him. Um, or horses that have what I would say is holes in their training. Just And, and holes meaning just they might have made it look like they knew what they were doing so everybody was happy but is kind of a way of letting us know there, were, there was a big enough hole in that that he's like I don't know what you want from me um, but once he understands it's going to be you know an issue right you know I'm not saying like he, he's going to tell you that he's an emotional horse so I'm sure if there's any you're trying to explain something new right. but we'll you know yeah emotional is good and knowing that he's you know he's mostly flight but he's offered a little fight you know um but he's in a good frame of mind now yeah and uh i would say if you start to have a bad session Try to find a good place that leaves him like that, where he's like begging you for the gold star on his forehead. Really, really wanted to be told he did a good job, even though he was spent most of his time. So I was thinking for next month, I'd like to have you train him if you have availability. Okay. So do like a yeah. Package and see if I feel like I'm not 
I'm not super clear with him and he really needs. Well, yeah, and it's going to be valuable for, for us to definitely yeah. it because um, my clarity and your clarity are, are different enough right. that he's still going to always struggle. Right. It's going to be better if, if I kind of like groom you to have the same. Yeah. That's actually kind of why I stopped having people just drop horses off. Right. Because I was finding that they're trained for me and then they go home and there's, you know, the people visited once or twice while the horse was here. Like Logan, he's going to go home, but I'm going to keep going over there. You know, so that's right. a little bit different. Right. And he's the second horse I started. Is that you? Is that you? Can you see yourself? Huh? Picture. Picture. Say we're not friends? No. I get it. <laughs> There's your feedback. <laughs> but it doesn't usually last for long if they do decide they're mad at me. to see too. I love watching their knee-jerk reactions to things because then you know like now if something were to spook him out on the trail he's likely to buck. But he's also happy to go see what it was that just scared him so it took him a little bit to go over there but so he, he's a he didn't run far but he's definitely a buck and squirt horse so that's, I love to learn their things. So that way you're prepared for always being on your balance point, <laughs> which you should be anyway, but for a horse that's knee-jerk bucker. And he rears when he's confused. So, like, I'm sure if you asked him to cross water and he wasn't sure how to do that and you scared him by pushing him too hard, then he rears. So just, you know, like, those are the things you want to just kind of... Aww, thank you. <laughs> You were breaking my heart when you didn't want to love me. Yes, you were breaking my heart. I don't want you to not like me. Oh, it makes me sad when you don't like me. You want to get up hosing? He's like, yeah, I hate that 